got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Welcome to Heat Wave! We're back with another episode, episode 15. I'm joined with the beautiful Brittany Saturn. Brittany Saturn! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Jer Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris, it's the Hot Touchison. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you just burp that out. <laughs> I am drinking some Mountain Dew. I have to figure out how to give a good gut roll. Ooh, Shit, I forgot to get a drink. Like this acid oh, well. reflux thing going on. Cranberry. Yeah, I'm going to share some of your cranberry probably. <laughs> um, so we're going to do something a little different with the podcast because uh, we're going to be like this for a little bit. So for what does um, like this mean? I can't like see this what meaning. Gesturing. We're going to be uh, in quarantine. <laughs> you guys are going to be home. We're going to be here. We're not going to get to talk to each other as much as we usually do. We're going to be on set. <laughs> on set. <laughs> and um, what basically what I'd like to do with this first part is just talk about how we're all doing. See how we're holding up with quarantine. Let's and go to that way we don't make weather. any. Yeah, that's right. That way we don't make any damn segments about it. <laughs> Uh, well, still adjusting to this uh, not being a cage free podcast, uh, but. <laughs> this is a free range podcast. <laughs> I actually got out yesterday and started walking, Ooh. so I guess technically that's true. Though. That's nice. Fancy. How do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel after that? Uh, okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> like... <laughs> Outside, it was a cruel and evil mistress. <laughs> well, well, here's the, the stupid thing is that. I've lived here in my neighborhood for like 10 years and mm-hmm. I've not actually gone out and walked through it. Yeah. So it's just like, wow, these are some really cool that's, houses. Well, that's and why I your really legs like have how- atrophied. <laughs> yeah, yes. Hutch, yeah. Hutch how, is, how is it that I have walked through your neighborhood several times in the three <laughs> years I lived there, but you are just now walking through like your neighborhood and you've lived there for a decade? Because he's busy. I'm, he's a busy man. I'm, yeah. I'm that's right. Busy man, and I'm really that lazy. <laughs> I mean, I, honestly, I'm not even like scolding you. I'm impressed. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I took a drive because got to keep that car battery charged. That's right. Case. That is true. Um, Brittany and I went to the park actually, and then got scared for our lives. Yeah. And then <laughs> came home and Brittany started making masks. <laughs> So we went to the art park. Um, the art park? And at first it was fine. We got there. There was like nobody there, hardly. There was people there, but they were really far away. And we looked up, like we came to a fork in the road. We had to make a decision to go left or right. We looked to the right and there was a shit ton of people up that way. So we went to the left where there was nobody. And then all of those people who were at the top came down where we were. Mm-hmm. And we were like, okay, it's time to go because there's too many fuckos next to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um Nobody keeping their damn distance. Yeah, and I'm like, come on. Like, some people were really good about keeping their distance, and some people were, like, way too close. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why? (laughs) Why are you doing this to me? Um, So then I came home, and I saw, like, a Facebook article about how the CDC is suggesting that if you go out at all, wear cloth masks. Um, And I actually have a lot of extra fabric uh, in the closet, so I started making cloth masks. Um, and I considered selling them and I looked at like, cause Etsy actually sent an email out and was like, Hey, if you make cloth masks, now's the time to put them up. Cause there's a high demand for them on Etsy. So I searched to see like how much people were selling them for. And people are selling a single mask for like 10 to $30 each. It's Jesus. insane. Oh, yep. fuck. And I said, fuck that shit. I'm just going to give them away to friends and family. So I posted a, a thing on Facebook and asked like, if anybody is interested, I'll ship them to you. But if you just pay me like three or four dollars to cover postage it's you know no big deal Mm. uh so i have had a ton of requests i think i'm up to like 30 masks uh that i have to make now so that's what i've been doing keeping myself super busy my mother is doing a similar thing i think it helps like in this weird time we're all trying to do shit that makes us feel like we still have agency and autonomy and uh, like control over our lives and I, I yeah I think that's a super easy super simple way to one help people because <laughs> ain't nobody buying masks <laughs> um but also you know feel good 
Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm actually able to do something. Because we're in a time where there's nothing we can really do. Um, but kind of wait it out. So I'm like, this is making me feel proactive at least. So. Yeah. It's been helping with us not go crazy, which we definitely have been going a little <laughs> bit crazy. Yeah. It's been helping us with the not go crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Very valuable. To, uh, it, it's nice to stay sane somewhat, at least a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How about you, Jairus? What have you been up to? My job? No. Um, yeah, we- <laughs> wow, that joke came back. <laughs> yeah, it did. Um, it's a classic. Callbacks. Uh, now it's becoming a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, we, <laughs> we did some grocery shopping yesterday just to make sure that we're stocked up. But I have now like eight pounds of frozen or a no, like 16 pounds of frozen chicken. Nice. So I got that Costco Perfect. run and they had chicken thighs. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just we're hanging out trying to find ways to make ourselves happy and less miserable. Thankfully, it's been nice outside. Um, so we've been sitting on the porch and watching people walk their dogs by. Which is really oh, man. nice. I, I have to admit, I'm really jealous about the porch. Yeah. That's like, good. Brittany and I do not have an outside space yeah. here at the house. Yeah. So we're if we're outside, we are with people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had some new neighbors move in and they like to fight a lot in the parking lot. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> yep. So it's pretty uncomfortable to be outside, and then they start fighting. And you're just like, okay, cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've I'll been go back in the house. Thanks. I've been actively looking for new apartments, and the best thing is there's so many available now. Yeah. It's like our other two neighbors are perfect, but um, the one new neighbor that moved in um, is not rowdy. And, and they have so many cars too. Yeah, they have so many cars. They clog up a parking lot, and I also found a whole bagel in the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> that I think they dropped. <laughs> That's so actually, that was me. That was assholes and also <laughs> bagel criminals. Yeah, yes. bagel criminals. So, oh just god, that's not, how I'm going to refer to them from here on not out. Pleased. <laughs> uh, excuse me, citizens. That is a perfectly good bagel that you just abandoned. Yeah, it had a bagel <laughs> wife. It had bagel children. They're waiting at home for this bagel. <laughs> It's never coming home now. <laughs> you deprived it of a, it of a glorious death. <laughs> <laughs> because well, as we all gl- know, the most glorious death that a bagel can have is to be eaten. Yeah, exactly. I'm about to eat a bagel in a minute. Mm. Speaking of glorious death, Jairus, what are we talking about today? Glorious deaths. All right. <laughs> you have 15 minutes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, I think I would like to die by electing an animal from Animal Crossing as president. So my okay. question is, what animal from Animal Crossing, not just a uh, tiger, like you can't just say tiger, <laughs> um, what animal from Animal Crossing would you vote for? If they all ran for president, Sonic, Hutch, you can really fired. move. Bounce him off. Bounce him off the podcast. Kick him out of the call. Hutch is done. Hutch, you're cut off. Go walk around your fucking. Uh, he meets Mabel. Mabel's oh. Sonic's wife. Oh. Okay. Oh, is that like some weird fan fiction that you've written? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, no. She's a blue hedgehog. Uh. <laughs> no, um, I can hear how much Brittany hates this. <laughs> oh yeah, she's really in pain right now. I feel like honestly, like everybody hates him, but Nook is very smart, and I think Nook would make a good president. <laughs> I I think have kind of like come around on Tom Nook. Uh, okay. Someone on Twitter framed it really well. Uh, highlighting that he is giving zero interest loans mm-hmm. to people. He is he is creating an economy. Now it's mm. going to turn into an Andrew Ryan underwater nightmare eventually, probably. Oh, eventually, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe Nook isn't the worst. I'd vote for Kid Cat just because he's the coolest, and that's what you, you want know, in a president. You want them to be cool. <laughs> I mean, if that's we're going true. for cool, we got to go KK Slider. 
I, no, KK Slider is too much of a free hippie for that. Exactly. He would not be. Well, held yeah, but down at least he's job. not. <laughs> at least he's not fucking Harv. I would pick Stitches. St- mm. <laughs> <laughs> Stitches has a really simple uh, candidacy. I want to eat candy. Let's all eat candy. <laughs> That's yeah. his candidacy. I, I mean, that's, that, that's the platform I can get on on the floor. Simple, direct, straightforward, good sound bites, really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the face of Stitches might freak a few people out, so I don't yeah. know. He what. does have sort of a haunted doll look. To him. <laughs> he is also parts. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love him. <laughs> I, I was going to assume, not knowing what this character is, it's like a face from like a nemesis from like Resident Evil. I Stitches. like I like where you went. It is the exact opposite, Stitches but I like where you went. A, a cute teddy bear that's been stitched together with different material. <laughs> it's like one of the cutest things. I'm going to put these uh, animals up on the screen and give myself work to do, so the audience can see what who no, we're talking you're about. Not. I um, will. Brittany, Give them homework. <laughs> do you think that in the distant future there will be a gritty reboot of Animal Crossing? And God, I hope so. And uh, <laughs> Stitches is one of like the mid tier uh, boss fights. Yes, for sure. I really appreciate the fact that you just went after Brittany in the most direct way possible by putting everything she loves together yeah. with Animal Crossing and the apocalypse. <laughs> Yes, I am ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> I would like three, please. Three of yes. this game. Yes, please. <laughs> we did, One we, free switch. <laughs> we, we did buy three of Animal Crossing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. This, <laughs> this fucking person over here has to make a huge project out of everything fun. Yep, right. So let's just play Animal Crossing together. Oh, let's also have a third switch that we leave on all of the time, 24 hours. At 5 o'clock, I have to go into it and reset it so that people online can come in and be in this town together as a community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's working yeah. out really well, actually. It's way less work than uh, Force Life the show was. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I accidentally put my switch on the dock to charge and accidentally turned off the other switch, just absentmindedly turned it off. Because you had and, to charge your switch. Yeah. <laughs> and I got in so much trouble for turning that switch off. <laughs> She's like, my switch's been down for four hours. <laughs> People are trying to sell their pairs, but there's no way for them to sell their pairs. I was, ve- I was very distraught. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that actually, that got me to uh, clean up part, uh, the only the part of the living room that I cared about. Yeah, because because Brittany cleaned up the rest after you that. Were, <laughs> you you were charging it on my desk, like that's where it would get charged. Mm-hmm. It was right in front of me, so, so I was like, I, "This I, is my dock. I'm going to put my switch on it." Yeah, I put the third dock up <laughs> and got it set up in the living room. There yeah. is something kind of amazing about how Michelle will take. Like this very <laughs> relaxing game and then build st- because the game doesn't have structures on it. It's not forcing you to do anything. So it's just her. It is her yeah. forcing structure and and parameters around a pretty freeform jazz game and saying, OK, we're going to play this fun game. But we're going to strip all of the fun relaxation out of it. We're going to play it that- an hour every day for a fucking year. Ask her, ask her about the stock market um, spreadsheet she has now with graphs so that she can track the prices to know which day is the sell day in the town. Jesus. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Fun fact. I have, Apply uh, that to your job. <laughs> I, I have because I've uh, deliberated and I've given it to other people to actually oh. do. <laughs> Like, hey, person in this uh, this group of mine, I need you to fill out this f- uh, form twice a day. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I think did you, you could set it up? Start a cult. Yeah, yeah. I've set, I've set it up, and now I've got other people like filling it out. Did you set it up so it's all being captured in a Google Sheets doc, but it's fed mm-hmm. by a form? Yes. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> now I've got Jairus's approval. I've made a spreadsheet, so now Jairus is happy with me no, again. Like that, that's a good spreadsheet strategy. I I still don't endorse your behavior, but at least you're executing it well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, it's 
just you fulfilling your lifelong dream of being an MMO uh, um, organizer. That's okay. true. I've I'm done MMOist. it a few times. I'm MMOist. That, MMOist. <laughs> that sounds like a like almost a um, racial term for like Hawaiians. What? I, I see what you're getting. What? There. Sounds That's a like bad a joke. It's a real bad joke. Oh yeah, Girl Scouts would have been a much better joke. <laughs> wow. Wow, well, went right for the race, did you? Yeah. That's where my brain went. Sometimes oh. I'm terrible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should hutch your back in, Michelle. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> Let. Wait, how much time we got on that timer? I can't matter. relate to any of this. Seven, <laughs> Seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. Clutch. Yeah. Have uh, you hutch, ever? Hutch. <laughs> have you ever played an Animal Crossing? Yeah, I got um, what was it? New Leaf on the 3DS, and I gave it a shot. It, it, <laughs> I, I I just need a little more like he, he can shoot zombies. Game. So oh, he's so, so the thing about Animal Crossing is when you first get the game, it's a slow build to do anything. Mm. Uh, sometimes you have to just be like, okay, there's really nothing else to do today because it's all like real time. Um, but the 3DS was really easy to time travel on, so that's what I did on the 3DS. I'm considering yeah, time traveling on criminal. the Switch, but I haven't yet. But I suggest if you feel like the game is moving too slowly to just time travel. So I'll probably time travel like down the road when I do like a second town or something like that. A second town. <laughs> Jesus. Like, you mean a third delete, town? Like when I've done everything in my current town, I'll, I'll, when he's start, beaten, I'll make a, I'll, she's I'll beaten. delete it. Sorry. Yeah. Um <laughs> when she has beaten Animal Crossing, she uh, will yeah. she will I'll she will delete the town game start plus. again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kill all of the animal residents that live I, on the island. <laughs> if it's if it's like if it's like New Leaf, it will be a new game plus cuz I'll start with all the money I made cuz you kind of sell what your island. What if at the end we can hunt you the animals? You sell your island? Oh, yeah, you sell yeah. your island in New Leaf. New game plus is just an FPS. Yeah. Can Ooh. you just hunt your animals? What That'd if be kind of great. What if they tapped into the emerging trend of Battle Royale games and New Game Ooh. Plus is just uh, All Fortnite. the animals? If it's Fortnite, or, but you don't get to choose which animal you are, ooh, and you just become, and yeah. each one has different skills. That sounds good. Or just animal fight, where you place bets on which animal wins. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> Brittany, oh, Brittany that's, wants to that's the new question who which animal from animal crossing would win if kabuki. they all kabuki <laughs> um kabuki. lady I'm friend say has Ken's. snake and i'm a big fan of snake because snake is sneaky snake is pretty um, cool yeah. he's he's a rabbit Definitely. so he's quick he's also a ninja um and he's a tough boy very strong I'm gonna go with Ken, I, Ken the chicken because he is a samurai, but he, no one knows it. Please keep it a secret. <laughs> I'm telling everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't fucking play Animal Crossing, Hutch. Oh. I, I, I'm gonna choose DJ KK Slider um, because he's currently my spirit in um, Smash Brothers World of Light. By the way, <laughs> I finally unlocked all the characters in Smash Brothers this weekend. I saw that you were playing that, and I actually it was like. Three o'clock in the morning, and I almost like sent you a message about you want to play some Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amused that your brain goes there and not like, "Hey, dude, you all right? <laughs> Everything I okay?" I was up for another no three hours. It. <laughs> oh, it was it was just in the Switch, and I was like, uh, I, I was playing in bed, and I was like, "Why don't I just try and like actually make some progress in this game?" And I did. Oh, I got like half of the. Um, um, the War of Light thing done, and then I still have to uncover the other half of it. And I just realized there's a damn space like board mm-hmm. to it. Yeah, and I was like, wow, okay. Well, the 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 like I know we're like jumping ships here, but the the single player for like Smash Brothers Ultimate is legit amazing. Yeah, and long. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Long and amazing. Yeah, they, it's I, definitely I the ultimate question. smash. Michelle, do you have any good question. spreadsheets regarding the single player version of uh, Smash Brothers? <laughs> no, I didn't care enough about that video game. Oh, Th- me. Either. This is legitimately, <laughs> this is Brittany with um, papers, please, all over again. It is. It is. 
Brittany kind of... I love Papers, Please. I could play that game again. <laughs> I mean, we own it on the PlayStation Vita. Ooh, we that would be a good it. It's been on sale. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Animal, <laughs> Animal Crossing, but it's Papers, Please. Ooh. Boom. I Boom. like it. I kind of want to hear the cute version but of it's Papers, cute, like, Please song. Emily's version of mm-hmm. paper, yeah. Papers, Please. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to assassinate Drago. Draco. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. It's just uh all the slutty animals trying to break into uh the new ta- Animal Crossing town. Dude, I have a slutty frog in my town. Her name you is have a Jim slutty Bet. frog. She has some DSLs. <laughs> 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 her bright pink and she has blue eyeshadow on and she wears a towel. <laughs> <laughs> um, you She's are ready de- at all times. You are describing this animal in a way that all I'm picturing is the female gremlins from Gremlins 2, the new batch. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. exactly oh, yeah. how she looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your brain went so, to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> so I imagine that you're just giving her all of the gifts ever. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. She, I found her on a deserted island, and I was like, you're coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you don't get a say in this. Come here, you're going to sleep in this tent. I set it up for you. Mm-hmm. No, you sleep there. There's nothing to I do actually, on this island. I actually built her, I actually built her a house. <laughs> she was one of the first animals I built a house for, so. Hell Yeah. So- so does this game have a, a random animal generator? Yes, basically. Yeah. Cool. You can also pick animals, though, for the first time ever in this one. If you have the amiibo cards. Yes. But there are like four bajillion exist, existent animals, correct? Yeah. There's yep. there's like over 400. Yeah. Mm. Gotta collect them all. And you can only have 10 at any given time. <laughs> Oh, Steph's so you been pick out your favorites. Uh, going to a bunch of islands and trying to find the perfect animals. Um, mm-hmm. And she really wants a penguin, but she can't find a fucking penguin to save her life. Oh, yeah. I got a penguin. She's going to come to your <laughs> island and try and snatch that penguin. <laughs> His name is Tex. He's really cool. <laughs> oh, I met uh, nice. Tex in the mobile game. Uh, she's a mm. big cube fan. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She wants cube. Do we have Cube the Amiibo card? I don't think. No, I don't think so. I could just mm. download an Amiibo for her and send it to can her. Can you do that? You wouldn't yeah, download, you download an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hutch, do you still have those like uh, r- those uh, Amiibo things that you can like change what they're what the uh, NRC thing is? Don't hack. That's a crime. <laughs> eh. So so is the fact that Amiibo cards for Animal Crossing are like 18 times the original price right now. Yeah. They're um, real I, bad. No, the one the ones I had were like I mean I actually don't know where they're at, but I think you can get them on eBay for cheap. Okay. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll send her a key. But I I think that you need like an actual Android phone to do it because with the lockdown of how Apple Oh, that works out because that's, I believe, what you two have. So, yep. And Android? Yeah, they're yeah. both Android. Well, with that, you know what? I think we've declared uh, Stitches Bye. the president. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>